Om Shanti. This is the Abhyakta Mudli of 12th of March, 1982. And the title is The Basis of Color, Beauty, and Fragrance in the Living Flowers. Today, the Father, the Master of the Garden, is seeing the variety of flowers in the Living Garden. Only once throughout the whole cycle does Bab Dada find such a spiritual garden. Such a spiritual garden with the beauty of such spiritual fragrant flowers cannot be found at any other time. When compared with this garden, then no matter how famous any other garden may be, what could be the experience of that be. This garden is as valuable as a diamond and the other one is as worthless as a shell. Do you have the intoxication that you are a spiritual flower in God's living garden? Just as Bab Dada sees the color, beauty and fragrance of each a few flowers, so too, do each of you also know your own color, beauty, and fragrance? The basis of color is the subject of knowledge. The more you are an embodiment of knowledge, the more attractive your color will be. When you look at physical flowers, although there are various flowers of many colors, from a distance, some colors will attract you, especially more than others. As soon as you see it, the praise that emerges from your lips is how beautiful the flower is. And your heart's desire will constantly be to keep looking at it. In the same way, flowers that are colored with the color of knowledge will also be very beautiful. Similarly, the basis of beauty and fragrance is being an embodiment of remembrance and divine virtues. If there is just color but no beauty, then the flower will not be attractive. If there is color and beauty but no fragrance, then too, the flower will not be attractive. It is said, this is artificial, or this is real. Flowers with just color and beauty are used more for decoration, whereas people would keep fragrant flowers close to themselves. Fragrant flowers are constantly and automatically embodiments of service. Therefore, ask yourself, which flower am I? No matter where I am, am I doing service naturally and automatically? Have I become instrumental in creating a spiritual atmosphere? Does your fragrance only spread when you come close or does it also spread from a distance? If you just listen to this knowledge, and are developing the practice of yoga, but have not yet become an embodiment of knowledge, or one with a yogi life, or a practical image of an embodiment of divine virtues, then you will just become the decoration. That is, you will become one of the subjects. Subjects are the decoration of the king. So, you have become flowers in Allah's garden. But which type of flowers? You have to check yourself. There is just one garden, one master of the garden, but a variety of flowers. What do double foreigners consider yourselves to be? Are you those who have a right to the kingdom, or those who simply observe the ones who rule.
today, Bab Dada has come to meet you in the garden. You all have the thought in your mind of having heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Therefore, today Baba has come to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. There are two groups. Bab Dada has extreme love for both this land's children and those from abroad. Those from Karnatak and also the double foreigners continue to swing in the swing of happiness. Having come to Madhuban, have all of you become experienced in being free from Maya? Or does Maya come to you in Madhuban as well? You come to Madhuban to experience the stage of being free from Maya. Therefore, Maya does not attack you here, but will be defeated because you especially come to Madhuban, especially to earn an income. Double foreigners should apply a double lock. Having come to Madhuban, what specialties have you imbibed? Baba was asking this of the double foreigners and those from Karnatak. Just as you saw the specialty of being cooperative, so too, what else did you see? You received love, peace, and light. You received everything, did you not? The more attainment someone has, the more that someone can't stop doing service. This is why those who are embodiments of attainment are automatically embodiments of service. Those from Karnatak have brought about very good expansion and there is also very good expansion abroad. Those from abroad have created many centers and have also made many servers emerge. Bhaktada is very pleased to see the courage zeal and enthusiasm of the children. Whether in this land or abroad, Baba is pleased to see that the children have very good zeal and enthusiasm for service. Those who are living at the centers and are engaged in service in this land or abroad, do you all have powerful Amritvela? This group is very good, but Maya also watches the very good children very carefully. Such children are also liked by Maya. Because you are instruments, you also have to become conquerors of Maya. This is why special attention is paid to you. The more powerful instrument souls are, the more powerful the atmosphere that will be made. Otherwise, the atmosphere will become weak and there will be many problems. When the atmosphere is powerful, you yourself will become a destroyer of obstacles and you will also become instruments for others to become destroyers of obstacles. Just as the sun is very bright and thereby dispels all darkness and gives light to others and also burns rubbish in the same way, souls who are instruments should pay attention to remaining stable as embodiments of power of destroyers of obstacles but not just for themselves. You should also have accumulated enough stock to enable others to become destroyers of obstacles. Therefore, the majority of this group are those who are master sons of knowledge. Now constantly remain aware of being a master son of knowledge. You are an embodiment of light and are also able to dispel the darkness of others. Acha, 
Bob Dada also remembers those from Madhuban. The residents of Madhuban are also in the vision of Brahmin family. When you praise Madhuban, it is the residents of Madhuban who come in front of you. The whole lecture has been written on the praise of Madhuban. All of you residents of Madhuban do experience the praise of Madhuban to be your praise. Do you not? Acha. To all the special souls who are full of all specialties, to the server souls who have become instruments to serve others through their form, to those who are colorful, beautiful, and fragrant flowers of Bab Dada, the master of the garden, love, remembrance, and namaste. Double foreign children asked why they are told to do double service, spiritual service, and a worldly job. In response to this, Bab Dada said, very little time remains and you want the maximum attainment. For this, you have to use your body, mind, and wealth. This is why you have to do all three types of service. In a short time, you are able to accumulate all three types of benefit because marks are also given on the basis of wealth. By accumulating those marks, you claim a number ahead. You are told this for your own benefit. You can use your wealth and you are therefore able to claim multi-million fold reward in return for one in the subject of wealth. If you can benefit from everything at the same time, then why should you not do that? However, when the instrument souls see that you don't have time, that you are not free, that you don't even have time to eat because you have become so busy, they will automatically free you from that. However, until you become too busy, it is necessary for you to do this. It doesn't go to waste. Those marks are also being accumulated. When you become too busy, then the drama won't allow you to have a job. There will be one or another reason stopping you, even when you want to carry on. This is why there is benefit in moving along as you are doing now. Don't think that you are not surrendered. You are surrendered and are acting according to directions. If you are following the dictates of your mind, you are not surrendered. If you state that you are not going to work, then those are the dictates of your own mind that you are following. Therefore, constantly keep yourself light. Whatever the instrument souls tells you, you must understand that there is benefit in that. Just remain carefree about it. If you have many thoughts about this and think, perhaps it is not in my part, or why am I not told not to work, then those are just waste thoughts. Do you understand? Bab Dada speaking to teachers. What is the service place of teachers? Teachers are always on the world stage. Your service place is the world stage. By considering yourself to be on the stage, you will perform every action with attention. When you sit on the stage for a program, you pay a great deal of attention at every moment. You don't become careless. Similarly, to become a teacher means to remain on the world stage. Although there may be just two sisters living at a center, you too are not just two, 
but you are in front of the whole world. Acha, questions asked by double foreign brothers and sisters in Bab Dada's response. Question, many times while sitting in yoga, we receive touchings, but how can we tell whether those touchings are from Bab Dada or not? Answer, Baba's touchings are always powerful and you will experience this power to be more powerful than your own power. There will be the experience of easy success in Baba's touchings. There will never be question of why or what about Baba's touchings. Everything will be very clear. Therefore, from these things, you can understand that that is a touching from Baba. Question, how can one recognize whether one has surrendered with one's intellect or not? Answer, the meaning of surrendering with the intellect is whatever the intellect decides will be according to Srimad, because the work of the intellect is to decide. Therefore, nothing but Srimad should enter your intellect. Because of constantly having the awareness of Baba in your intellect, that will be the decision-making power. The practical sign of that is that one's judgment will be correct and filled with success. Whatever such a soul says, he himself will like it and others too will accept it as a very good thing. Everyone will feel that that one's intellect is very clear and surrendered. They will be content with their intellect. There won't be any question whether that one's right or not. Question, why is it that some children who have faith in the intellect leave after four or five years? How can this wave be finished? Answer, the particular reason why they leave is that they remain very busy in service but they lose the balance between serving the self and service. That is one reason why some good children come to a halt. Another is that they have a particular sense scar in which they have been weak from the beginning. However, they hide it and continue to battle with it by themselves. They don't clearly tell Bab Dada or the instrument souls about that weakness and thereby don't finish that sanskar. Because they hide it, that weakness takes on a dangerous form inside them and they don't experience themselves to be making progress. Then they feel disheartened and leave Baba. The third reason is that they are unable to harmonize their sanskars with those of others. These sanskars are in conflict with others. In order to finish this wave of souls leaving, together with service, full attention should be paid to maintaining a balance between self-service and service. Everyone who comes should be very clear with Bab Dada and the instrument souls. If you feel that service is too much, then think of a way for your own progress. You should also relate your feelings to the instrument souls. First, draw the attention of the new ones to these things. One should check one's own sense scars first. If you have a conflict of sense scars with anyone, step away from that person. It is better to separate yourself from the circumstances where there is a conflict of sense scars. Question, if there is no result from the service done at a particular place, 
Is that due to one's own weakness? Or is it due to the land there being like that? Answer, first of all, try using all types of facilities for service. If after doing all types of service, there is still no result, then it is possible that it could be the land. If service is not increasing due to your own weakness, then your conscious will definitely bite you. You will know that service is not taking place because of you. At such a time, take help from one another and fill one another with force. If it is due to you, then the souls that emerge from that land will also be weak. They won't be intense effort makers. Acha, blessing. May you be a soul filled with success and bring about transformation with the cooperation of good wishes and pure feelings. When all the Brahmin children together give the cooperation of their good wishes and pure feelings in any task, then that cooperation builds a fortress of the atmosphere and that transforms all souls. With the cooperation of five fingers together, any big task is easily accomplished. Similarly, the cooperation of every Brahmin soul makes service successful. The result of cooperation is success. Slogan, to leave the hard throne and to have ordinary thoughts means to place the foot of your intellect in the mud. Om Shanti.